Okay, what's up, guys? So, one of you guys commented and wanted me to do a uh, uh, story time video talking about, like, my time in school and things. And I'm telling you guys, I have, like, <laughs> I have, like, a story, honestly, for, like, each grade I was in from, like, kindergarten all the way up until my senior year in high school and stuff. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about was probably the craziest reason on why a teacher would have I think she was only saying it to like put fear in my eyes and stuff but I'm like what do you expect me to do like if I do it this way it's gonna come out wrong if I do it the way I've been doing it's going to come out right but anyways I hold pencils and pens and things differently do I have like a pen in the Okay, so I am trying to think. I cannot find a pen right now. That is not a pen. Um, all right, here's a Sharpie. So instead of holding it like this, where it's like going like down, like between like my thumb and stuff, I hold it like this. So it's like in my uh, um, pointing finger and stuff. And this is how I would like write things and stuff. But yeah, some people, you know, they write stuff like that, but I cannot write like that with my like, pen going down and stuff so i mean uh so i was like because i think what class was i in it was like I, man i can't even think of like what class i was in and something but anyways the teacher was like it was like i was like in an area like by myself and things like you know just chilling and stuff so anyways um I'm writing down stuff and things, you know, just being, and this is in elementary. This is like, I'm like a little kid. Like, I don't know what's going on and stuff. So I think, how old was I? I think I was like maybe six or seven years old at the time. So I'm like writing down stuff. She comes up on me and she was just like, can you hold the pen correctly? And I'm like, what do you mean correctly? Like, I don't know what you're saying and stuff. So she's like, you have to hold the pen. So she like grabs the pen and she's holding it and she's like writing like all perfect and things. So I tried it and I started like messing up because I can't write like that and stuff. So I'm like, it's more comfortable if I hold it this way. So I'm holding it that like the way I usually will hold the pen. And she's like, no, like you need to hold it the other way. It's like people are, I think, I think she was all like, you're like, she said some old crazy like off the wall stuff like, Pretty much like, oh no, like she didn't say like, you're not going to amount to anything, you're not going to be successful. I think, I can't remember what she said, but she said as if it was going to like put fear in my eyes or something, where I was like, as if I was going to care. And I'm like, I don't care what people overall think about me on how I hold a pen. Like, this is how I hold a pen and stuff. Like, if they're going to really be judging me based off of the way I hold a pen, then I don't need to be around those people. But I kid you guys not, then she threatens to call my mom. Like... If, am I being disruptive in class? Like, no. If Am I doing something wrong? No, I'm not. I am holding a pencil or a pen. I think it was a pencil. But I was like, I am holding a pencil the way I feel comfortable holding it. But I'm, I'm saying, like, I wish something like that would have happened to me in high school. I really did. Because back then, I'm like, I, I was just like, I think I remember, I was like, okay, I'm like, call her and things. I'm like, I don't, like, you know, I don't think that's, like, a legitimate reason on why to call her and stuff. But I'm like, all right, I guess, like, I don't know what else to do. Like, if I get whooped for holding a pen so different, I'm like, guess I'm just going to have to get whooped. But I'm like, that's just going to be me for the rest of my life. I can't hold it the other way. I'm going to mess up in things. So, anyways, uh, but she didn't call my mom. Because I'm like, that's dumb. Like, yeah, God, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. I wish something like that would have happened to me in high school. Because then I was like, you know, as a kid, like, I was kind of shy. I didn't really talk too much unless it was, like, friends or somebody. But in high school, oh, my goodness. Like, the character that I was. Like, a t if a teacher had said that to me, I would have, like, pulled my phone out and been like, do you want me to call her for you? Because, please, explain to my mom how you're pretty much taking her away from her, like, job and stuff to tell her that I'm holding a pencil differently. That's what I'm like, please do that. Please do that. I, I would love to see that. I would love, and please put it on speaker, because I want to just hear the whole class, just hear you get embarrassed, okay? So, but yeah, she didn't go through with it. And I'm like, I honestly almost got in trouble for holding a pencil differently. And still, till this day, I still write like that. When I was, um, when I was like at this job downtown Seattle, before like this quarantine and all this stuff, uh, there was a uh, chef that worked there, probably like my favorite chef and stuff, but his name was uh, Mark. And I remember I was like, because we, so at the end of the day, I would be like counting out the till and stuff. And uh, when I was like, be like writing down things, he came up on me and he's all like, how are you holding that pencil? And just, yeah, pretty much this story I just told you guys, told him that same story and things. 
And I'm like, yeah, it's that's just how I hold it. I'm sorry. So people are gonna judge me for holding a pencil differently. I guess I'm gonna be getting judged. But anyways, um, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos and things. I already have like some story time videos up, so you can uh, go back check those out and things. Um, Team Osbot Story Times and uh, search that up. And then, yeah, you guys can potentially find them. But, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.